coming up to the stinger. Got this little sketchy wood access ramp. And this thing is fun because you can just haul all the way down it and pop right here all the way down to the dirt. This next drop off is the same thing. Pop right off into the dirt. Hey guys, Daily Mountain Bike Rider Josh here. I am at the top of my local trails here at Galbraith Mountain, and I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what trails I ride all the time. I'm gonna be going down three of the most popular trails. They take you from the top of the mountain where I am right now, and that's called Towers, and it takes you all the way to the bottom. Those runs are Evolution, known as Evo, Unemployment Line, known as U-Line, and then Atomic Dog, known as A-Dog. So I'm just gonna turn on my GoPro and my gimbal, take a ride from the top to the bottom, I'm gonna to talk to you about the trails on the way down. So if you're ever in the area up here in Bellingham, Washington, you can come give them a rip and see how much fun it is to ride here. Anyway, thanks for riding with me. If you liked the video, make sure you give me a like. And besides that, I'll see you on the way down and at the bottom. All right, here we go. First trail up is Evolution. Dropping in. Evolution's got three great jumps right at the beginning and they all set each other up for the next one. And big berms to catch you on. Up ahead, we have some little drops like this, and then they go right into the S-turns. Called the S-turns for pretty obvious reasons. This last one's a big sweeper. It's got a little pop out of it right here. Coming up to the Stinger, got this little sketchy wood access ramp. And this thing is fun because you can just haul all the way down it and pop right here all the way down to the dirt. This next drop off is the same thing. Pop right off into the dirt. There's a lot of just natural roots and pop offs off old trees. Up ahead is an old log into a drop. And I call these jumps the scrub and huck, because you scrub that one and have to just huck the second one. All right, onto a couple wood features here. And another one, and another one. All right, about halfway through evolution. Another man-made pop. This is a zero gravity zone right here. Man, I love that jump. Then a couple more big lips to end it off. There's about five or six jumps just back to back. And they're hard to know what speed to get until you just ride them a few times. Oh, jumping into the sun. Nothing like that. And that is evolution. All right, so that was evolution. I got some man-made stuff, some natural roots. Next up is U-Line, and U-Line is one of those runs where I heard they call it an unemployment line because a bunch of guys were tarred at it during the recession 2007-8, so it's got a ton of big burns, fun little jumps, some bigger jumps, and it is a premier trail because anybody can ride on it and have a smile on their face. All right. Unemployment line dropping. Up here is an example of the options you have. Left is a big jump and right is a little tabletop. All these jumps you can go super fast or real slow. Just the options are endless over here. And these are just a ton of little tabletops. You have to be careful not to carry too much speed. Keep those heels back. They just redesigned these jumps up ahead. There's a sender, a pumper, and a rock feature. Overshot that one. Man, 
it's good to be out here. Up here is the takeoff into the hucker. Into the centers. What's up, dudes? Gotta carry your speed around the sperm. It's just a little table. This one is a sender of a jump into a sideways jump that I always find a way to overshoot. It's a cool little rock feature. But if you stay to the left, it's a perfect table. Oh, tired. Here is a table top. You gotta hook. Oh, I mean a double. And don't let this jump surprise you. Because you gotta go for the next one. Here's those berms I was talking about. Man, they're fun. Little jumps. One of the most beautiful outlooks on Galbraith up ahead. See the peninsula on the islands? It's a blind spot right now. And then a couple more little jumps. Just some flat lines. Nice place to practice your whips. This last jump up here is one I've photoshopped myself jumping over it in another video. It looks huge and scary. They just redesigned it. And so, just a little pop. Then a couple more big burns. Woo! That's Uline. All right, and right around the corner from Uline is A Dog. Took a minute to catch my breath, and this will take us to the bottom. A Dog is a great trail. Here we go, by the way. Because it is much more of a natural flow trail. Whereas Uline and Evo are really built and dialed. This has the built dialed features, but feels like an old school backyard trail. And man, it is a hoot. And if you know where to carry your speed, you can get some cool doubles like this. A lot of roots in the area. Once again, it's all about knowing your line on your local trails to not get stuck in some rooty business. Kind of a minefield that jumps and obstacles. Oh, that sun peeking through. Up here's a little double. Yeah, some more features. Some root. Root. <laughs> root pop-offs. Oh man, I'm tired. And you can just carry speed through this trail. Oh, I couldn't decide where to go. But I figured it out. Once again, more little things to pop off of. It's kind of a more natural trail. Or part of the trail right here. And we're about halfway down. Oh, the last features here are fun. There's a big, beautiful step down. Lay a person down in it. Right here. Whoop. And you step up. That sounded good. Ripping tires off. And then there's a little feature right here. And a little route right there. Ah. Now this is where a lot of trails connect down here into the last little part of A-Dog. Seen a lot of people ride this section. Man, I'm allergic to water, can't touch it. There's a rock wall, rock wall, a wall ride on the side of a rock. I'll try to do it without busting my face. Right here, just whoop, and then into a big feature. And by big, I'm just mean pop. And then here's the hidden feature. Take the left turn, pop through. And finish off in Shattertown Avenue. And you're free to go home. But we all know we want to go back to the top. All right, guys. Daily Mountain Bike Rider Josh here once again. Thank you for riding with me. Make sure you like comments on what you liked and didn't like and subscribe 
If you're ever in Bellingham, let me know. I'm a normal guy. I'm not a professional. And I love to meet and ride with new people. Anyway, so that's it for me. And as I always say at the end of my videos, do not forget, get off the YouTubes and go ride your bike and do it every day. Get out there, pop some wheelies, ride that bike.